Hello, everyone. Thank you again for joining us for our AdvisorCon webinar series. Today's webinar is about project intake. How do we intake new project ideas securely and systematically using Microsoft 365? Here at AdvisorCon, our amazing team of trainers, developers, and technology consultants want to help you maximize your productivity and impact. And we do that through a blend of technology and methodology consulting. Our mission is to deliver technology tools and training in order to maximize your impact, productivity, and purpose. Here's an overview of our agenda for today. We'll talk about the project intake lifecycle, and then we'll move to the dataverse. I like to think of it as the backbone of this process that we'll be laying out for you. Then we'll talk about project intake and specifically using a Microsoft form. That's what really starts this intake process. And then we'll talk about receiving and collecting the project intake ideas in a Microsoft list. A little bit about myself. My name is Sean and I have a background in math education. I am both a PMP and hold a CAPM. I do have experience in implementing solutions using Microsoft 365. I've been a trainer and uh, delivering instructions for a decade and I do enjoy good dad jokes and puns. And you know what you find at the end of every dad joke? E. All right, let's take about a look at the project intake lifecycle. The intake process can be likened to a job interview process. You start it off, you collect forms, you look over the submissions, you make a decision, and then you transition to the next step, the actioning of those, of those intakes. And that really is what the project intake lifecycle is all about. You initiate, you tell your organization, we are now uh, intaking new ideas. So get ready with those new ideas, the ones you've been saving up, the ones, the given the uh, challenges that we've had this year, uh, let's put those uh, ideas down and let's consider them for action. Also, as part of the initiation process, set up the intake process. What is that infrastructure system uh, security look like? Then you move to the next step, you receive the submissions and then you collect them. Next, do you do analysis on those uh, submissions. You review them, use metrics that your organization has set up to consider what will be a top project for our organization. Then you make a decision. You lay out which projects are gonna be actioned. And again, about communication, you communicate that to the entire organization. Say thank you for the submissions this year. Here's the ones we're gonna action and we would like your support on it. And then yes, transition to the implementation of those new ideas. Have you ever spent a good chunk of time doing some data entry using a form or you know, some type of platform only to find out that format that you've been using, it's actually not compatible with downstream reports or other outputs. So what did you have to do? Ah, oh, you had to do double entry. Well, now in the Microsoft Dataverse, all data connects to all data. Let's take a look. The Microsoft Dataverse, like I mentioned before, it's like the backbone. It connects the different parts of uh, the Microsoft apps. Uh, really, it, bring, it brings all data types together in one place. And with that main benefit, that main goal is that one part of where data is input can be useful in another part. For example, you can input something into Power Apps and using Power Automate, it can now talk to uh, Power BI, it can talk to Teams. You might even use Power Virtual Agents to get your users to connect to other parts of the Dataverse. All of this in one place and all through automation. For the purposes of our webinar today, we'll actually connect Microsoft 365 Forms to a SharePoint list and that's done through Power Automate. Let's dive deeper. So a, a question I can hear is that here we are intaking new project ideas through a Microsoft form. Why not just have people directly input them onto the Microsoft list? And that's a fair question. And to that, I would answer one word, security. And not necessarily security as only available to the right eyes, though that might be a consideration, rather ensuring 
that one person does not have access to edit or delete another person's project entry. Very common, it can happen. So that's why it's recommended to keep the entry method separate from the collection point. Again, for the purposes of security. The entry point I'm recommending is Microsoft Form. The value of setting up a form is that you can be sure that the entry is complete. All required questions must be answered before the form can be submitted. On screen are the types of questions you might want to use it in your Microsoft form. This is not comprehensive, but these are commonly used ones and uh, ones that I'll be demonstrating today. If you've never set up a project intake form, here are some questions to get you started and ideas to think about. What is the project name? Who supports this? Who's impacted by uh, this in the form of your customer, sponsor, or stakeholders? Uh, third, you might want to consider, and definitely want to consider rather, the benefits. Why should we take the time, energy, resources to uh, to un to go through this project? Then uh, you want to lay out well, estimated expenses and budget. What's the cost in order to uh, achieve these benefits? Definitely want to consider the resources. Does that resource even available? Um, if it's not available, let's not do it. And then, as always, where are some whoopsies? Uh, what are some potential risks and assumptions if we uh, go through this project. Again, just want to be clear on uh, as best as possible, think through a project before beginning. I want to tell you a story about Duncan. Steve through a Microsoft form. Bravo, Duncan. And Duncan did enjoy the systemized entries, which were all stored in the responses section connected with the form. However, Duncan had to read through them one by one and had no way to quickly compare or rank project ideas against one another. Furthermore, Duncan had to manually set up and update an Excel sheet after project entry. Well, this year, Duncan is waving goodbye to those pain points as Duncan will be collecting projects in Microsoft Lists. This is an overview of the tech parts involved in this uh, process. Again, as I mentioned, it starts with a Microsoft form. That's where you do your input. That then gets uh, pulled by Power Automate. Uh, this Power Automate is at the, the heart of this process, and it passes that those data entries into Microsoft Lists. One entry, secure, auto updates, and you can utilize the built-in features of Microsoft Lists. We have many videos on Microsoft Lists and many more to come. Please check out our library of videos. Notice that last step in, in bright gold there. The data doesn't have to end at Microsoft Lists. Depending on your current or your future desired business process, the data can be utilized across the dataverse. So what's your dream process? What pains you right now? What would you like it to look like in the future? Get in touch with us and we can help you bring that dream to reality. A little bit about Power Automate, it can be likened to building a path or trail for the data to travel. It's, and that path is called a visual flow and you see that on screen. There are pre-made templates and that can get you started in building a flow. And the flow on screen, it has how many steps? That's right, only three steps, including the trigger. The trigger is that first step that gets it started, and then the downstream actions that will happen as a result of that trigger. Power Automate is easy to start and even has safeguards and checks along the way. To learn more about Power Automate, check out our video on the Project Manager's Guide to Power Automate. The, the flow you see here is the one that's being used for our project intake process today. The magic is that what is entered as title gets matched to project name. What is uh, ranked as um, initiative one gets matched to the field initiative one, initiative two, so on and so forth. So you have this nice, easy connection of data across the dataverse. All right, now the fun part, let's do a demo. Here we are in a Microsoft form. Let's take a look behind the curtain of how it's made. It comes with a title and you can make a fun template uh, using uh, themes already built in. 
This is this question type is text, but it's short answer, not long answer. And notice that beautiful feature of requirement. This again keeps the project form complete. It is thorough. This is a long answer form uh, question. It will allow multiple lines of text response. This is a choice field, choice question. You can enter uh, choices uh, that can be selected and you can allow multiple answers to be selected. Uh, this is a Likert scale question that allows you to rank. Again, with uh, project intake, we wanna say, how well does this project suggestion align with these year's strategic initiatives? You know, you wanna pick the right projects to make sure that you're moving in the same direction as your company's, your organization's goals. And then when can we expect to realize the benefits of our investment in this project? Please input a comp estimated completion date. All right, let's try it. So we'll start and we'll say secure and sure. And this is for the demo. Receiving new project ideas securely. All right, this is gonna be owned by professional services. We're just making up uh, some strategic initiatives here and that this is the alignment. So very strong with one and two, not so much with three, four or five. That's why you might wanna consider this. And we estimate that you'll be able to realize the benefits of this mid-year. All right, let's submit that. Okay, as mentioned in the flow of the data, it goes from forms now to Power Automate. Here we are in Power Automate, and yes, we just received a successful flow. And so that means all the data went through. Let's take a look at it in Microsoft List. Here we are in the list, and we've tested other flows just to make sure this would work. And there's our secure and sure demo, along with all the fields entered that matched exactly to the uh, Microsoft form. Uh, we added a bonus field here, said who submitted this? We didn't have to have the uh, person entering the data put their email. We'll capture that automatically. Again, one of the, uh, all of these beautiful features uh, utilized across uh, the Microsoft Dataverse. As I mentioned before, uh, the Microsoft List has some great built-in features, such as I'm really concerned about Initiative 5. I want... Uh, results grouped by uh, initiative five and i want to see all right which one where do they rank maybe i'm concerned about the amount of projects by divisions let's uh, spread maybe i want to spread them out evenly maybe i'm trying to build out one more division than the other uh, this year so i can order them group them by division again built-in features within microsoft list here we are at the end of our webinar. We've talked about the project intake life cycle, again, initiating to actioning, to then transitioning to, uh, to implement those, those uh, projects that we've decided on. We've talked about the dataverse and how all data connects to all other parts of the dataverse. And specifically, we used Microsoft Form. We've entered data on the Microsoft Form and let that uh, using Power Automate flow directly to a Microsoft list. And there, our project ideas can sit for collection, for uh, analysis, and then we can make a decision. And then, all again, all of this done securely uh, through Microsoft 365 tools that you might already have at your fingertips. Thank you so much for watching this webinar. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions, like or follow us on social media platforms, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We offer many free trainings in our online academy. You can access those by visiting advisacon.thinkific.com. For project managers, simply become a member of Advisacon Academy to receive the code to redeem PDUs. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.